You may not envisage yourself as a cause of global warming when you drive, but the exhaust coming out of your car has actual weight and contributes to the much talked about climate change. According to the latest report by the United Nations Environmental Programme, the transport sector alone accounts for 20% of the global greenhouse gas emissions. It's quite hard to deal with the sources of emissions coming out of the back of tailpipes from so many millions and millions of cars on the road around the world. About 80% of the mass of petrol is carbon, one of the major greenhouse gases. And that is why environmentalists argue that putting hybrid vehicles on the road will help reduce global warming tremendously. <coughs> hybrid cars have two engines. They run on a rechargeable battery as well as petrol, rather than on petrol alone. One such car is the Toyota Prius, which is already available on the Kenyan market. Environmentalists say that hybrids such as these produce 65% less emissions compared to other vehicles with the same engine size. Hybrids only use petrol when starting. Once the car is in motion, the motor which acts as a generator provides all the required energy. The trick here is to basically when the car is say going downhill or even when you're braking, you actually produce some energy that goes into charging the batteries. So at some moment when you're driving along, you have the advantage of actually being on electric power rather than being on petrol or diesel power. So as a result, you get an emission reduction. Although electric cars are also touted as a green solution, hybrids are better because their batteries recharge as one drives and do not need to be plugged in. Electric cars are, are, are different. Um, there are different kinds of electric cars, but uh, the most simplest is that you literally plug the car in uh, at home from your normal electricity supply and that actually charges batteries on board and then you drive around in the car. The challenge on that one has been in a sense that the weight of the batteries has been quite heavy and also the amount of charge you can get into the batteries has been limited so you've only been able to travel say 30, 40, 50 kilometers or whatever before you need to charge it up again. Though the car is out of reach for many Kenyans. This one would cost uh, a range between 850,000 to 900,000. And its spare parts are not locally available. To repair a battery, for instance, one will be required to part with about 200,000 shillings to have it imported. Nonetheless, the vehicle one chooses and the way one drives it determines whether one is contributing to or reducing global warming. Salim Bilu for Sunday Live.